Good morning, everyone. Uh, what is Memorial Day without grilling? I don't grill at my house because a man's got to know his limitations. And I know that Chef Aaron from Kroger, he knows his way around a grill. He knows his way around food. So we uh, kind of twisted his arm, asked him to come in and help us out today. And you just put out a spread today, my friend. We got a feast going on. So okay. uh, where are we going to start? Well, let's start at the grill. OK. So we're doing a couple different recipes today. Uh, the first one is going to be a Cincinnati style chili inspired barbecue sauce. OK. So I've got a pork loin and I've also got some ribs. Our uh, pork tenderloins are buy one, get one right now. I figured that's perfect for the, the grilling. And then we also have racks of ribs on sale for $10 in the deli. Okay. So I took the barbecue sauce and I covered it on both of those. We've got those cooking and I'm charring some corn for our sauce. Okay, now when you cook meat on the grill, uh, some uh, quick tips on how to make sure it doesn't burn or it turns out right. So what you want to do, at least from, uh, from, from my perspective, is you want to have one side of the grill high and the other one on like a medium heat. So the high heat is going to sear your meat and then you want to move it to the medium to finish it off. All right, uh, now let's go to the sides. We're going to rotate around. Okay. So what we have is a corn, peach, and cherry salsa that's gonna go a couple different directions. All right. It can go on top of the pork loin if you want it, or it can be with chips and salsa. I've got the, the thin pita chips. Oh, uh, those think, are great. I think it just goes a little bit better with it. Sure, and, and they're sturdier too. Uh, they don't get wet. Yeah, the that, then a tortilla chip. Sure. So we have charred corn. As you can see, I was charring that on the grill. There's fresh parsley. We have fresh peaches. We're going very seasonal here. Yeah. Fresh cherries, and this is optional. Mike's hot honey, it's gonna be spicy. Oh, so it's a got a little warmth to it, yeah. So we're gonna put that in there. And a little pinch of salt and some lime juice. And you're gonna mix that up. And I let mine sit overnight. And I think it tastes a little bit better. Some you know, of the, the flavors merge together. Yeah, blend together like that. Too, too, too. I did so, notice a lot of a lot of peaches are out right now. Too. Yeah, That's very seasonal. yeah, we've got some fresh ones right here. Fresh cherries, fresh corn, and everything's, because it's in season, it's gonna be a little cheaper too. Sure. We're gonna move on to our Cincinnati style chili inspired barbecue sauce. Now, okay. some people, some locals, might be a little offended by this. I mixed Gold Star seasoning mix and Skyline hot sauce. Oh, what? oh, all oh, dogs oh and cats together. <laughs> but it works. Okay. <laughs> so what I have is I've got that Gold Star uh, seasoning packet. I've got two tablespoons of that, a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of brown sugar tablespoon of Worcestershire and then we've got 10 dashes of the Skyline hot sauce and the Skyline hot sauce is definitely going to be something that is noticeable you you know what Skyline hot sauce oh, tastes oh, like yeah. uh, we're going to mix that up and I cooked it oh. for about only 10 minutes and this is going to be our final product here is and that what's on these ribs? That's what's on those ribs. That is delicious. Now, do you apply before you cook or as you cook? As you cook. So barbecue sauce, because it's got that sugar, that ketchup, it's going to burn on you. Oh, right. Uh, you definitely want to apply towards the end of the cooking process. I got my, my pork tenderloin about uh, three quarters of the way there. And then I applied, just basted it on there. And I have one more kicker. So um, if you need a side, you're not, maybe you've got grilled chicken, you're doing something different. You can make the barbecue sauce with some... Uh, a quarter cup of red onion, a quarter cup of bacon, and then that barbecue sauce, you want to do a quarter cup of that, and a can of black beans, and let it simmer down, and you've got a baked black bean. And you've got your whole spread right here. The family, your friends, everybody will be quite happy. What do you think? That sauce on the ribs, fantastic. And you can taste that so Cincinnati good. style chili yeah. in there. It's awesome. All right. I can't. I, I can't eat while we're on camera here, so I guess we'll wrap it up. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to commercial because I'm gonna eat. <laughs>